So we're into pack one. I forgot to hit the record button, but we're doing a... We, we, we first picked a Kiki Jiki kind of speculation and then didn't see anything. And then we just kind of like got this recurring nightmare, found like a underground sea. Okay, we found this too. So now we're starting to get like three different reanimation things. Diabolic Edict's fine, it's just removal. Is Oath of Druids good? Do we want to play Oath? If we just have fatties now, nah, I guess we'll take the Edict. And like maybe for some reason we want to do this. So what do we want to open up? We want to open up like fast mana. Control magic, batter, skull, Vraska, awakening zone, metamorph, buried alive. Okay. Buried alive seems what we want to like what we want to do. Preserve. We don't need the, any of the Chandras. What does this do? This destroys everything, okay. Dark Petition might wheel, and that might be, like, interesting in our deck. Uh, I don't really think there's anything else we really want. I think we just want this Buried Alive. Okay, Flip Jace is definitely good. Um, yeah, I think it's just clearly Flip Jace, right? We don't have anything else we really want doing. Flip chase means if we find some cheap stuff that's going to be better, like this damnation. If this damnation comes around, it's going to work. Like, just something we can do again. So I think we're kind of doing it. We need we need a couple more, like, cheap spells, I think. We need a couple more ways to interact. Um, Maybe, like, a show and tell. <laughs> you can't take the shell duck aisle, though, right? Like, it's sweet, but... So how many, like, God, I should have, I just shut Moto down. Like, why is it tweaking out so much? So we have a Signet. We have a Stormtide Leviathan. We also have Necropotence. So whenever you discard a card, exile that card from your graveyard. Okay, one life. So, like, Necropotence is sweet, but I'm not really sure it's what we're doing. Inquil Leviathan's good. We kind of start need need a couple more fatties, right? So maybe we take Inquil Leviathan. It's either that or Shriek Maw. Blooming Marsh is a consideration. Sign I mean, Signets are always good. This is kind of off color. So I don't necessarily like it. I think I want to take Shriek Maw, though. Trigmai is good. So we have Kalidus, Mere Battle Sphere. Mere Battle Sphere is a very good reanimation target. Wow, man, Moto is just dying on me. I think it's just Battle Ball, right? Because Battle Ball is also insane with a recurring nightmare. like all right but i don't know if breach is necessarily like worth going into another color for all right pack rat pack rat does what we want it to do Ms. american target opponent this is brain maggot okay i think pack rat's where we want to be i do have a signet i do have a signet you're right there i think we're going to take pack rat You like Rakdos' return over Pack Rat? Pack Rat just does what we want it to do, right? It discards our fatties. And it like wins the game on its own. Unless you're thinking that Pack Rat will wheel. And just Rakdos returns where we want to be. But we don't have any fast mana though. Yeah. Okay. So Iona's Prowler kind of does what we want it to do. Charter Course does two, and then we have Sphinx of the Steel Wind. I 
think we want Charticor. No, well, Char Charticor is like... Charticor is filtering and it works really well with Jace. It's probably better than the Iona's Prowl. I think the Charticor is just better than... Like, the Charticor does the same thing the Iona's Prowl does, right? Yeah, I'm gonna take the Charticor. It gives us another spell to deal with Jace. Like we only have one, two, one, two, our ancestral visions. Is that too slow? Kite sail freebooter or Elish Norn, which is just like the ultimate, the ultimate uh, reanimate card. Just like Wrath the Lord. I'm not really feeling the Sun Titan at the moment. I think it's either. Elish Norn or Ancestral Visions. Yeah, I think we're just going to take the bomb. Shallow Grave, that's another reanimation thing. So is Unburial Rites. And then Pentad Prism. Return the top card of your grave to the battlefield. Exile the beginning of the next episode. I think, take, I like, I think I like Unburial Well, Unburial Rites is probably better. Then Shallow Grave, because it's two times. The Dark Petition came around. So let's take that. We're not going to play any of these. I could see us maybe playing this Nickel Bolas, because it's like Nickel Bolas. Goblin Welder. I guess we just take Blooming Marsh just in case. <clears throat> we take the Dread Boar because it kills Planeswalkers. The Return came around. Look at that. We got the... We got... Oh, the Iona's Prowler came around. See, look at that. Look at that, Farby. Someone says, God, I hate you. The other one says, nice. <laughs> Our deck is like, I would like some more cantrips. Or I would like some careful studies. Dude, Dark Petition finds us exactly what we need. And we have a lot of spells. Not that many spells. But at least it finds us what we need, right? Oh... Oh my god, we got like the best reanimate card. We got the best reanimate card, but we have to take Black Lotus. We want this preordain too? Oh, we want the preordain. We want this. We don't really want anything else. This is kind of sad. You know, like that Gristle Brand's right, right where we want to be. I don't think there's any other reanimator targets that are reanimator players that are here. All right, Bloodstained Mire helps us with our Bloodstained Mire helps us with our splash if we decide to. But Tarastodon is just kind of like the get out of jail free card here. Can't lose. I think I'm gonna take the Tarastodon. All right. Well, maybe you never know. We might get there. You're taking Dark Slick Shores over Terrasse. You're taking Terrasidon's going to come back around? I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Terrasidon might come around. We can we can keep, we can can keep. fix our mana a little bit. We kind of do have the... We got like some fatties. All right. We'll, we'll hook Farby up here. We'll hook Farby up. So he doesn't just like lose his mind in chat.
This is Nicol Bolas is kind of like... Oh, no, Moto. Don't do this, Moto. Don't do it, Moto. Oh, we only got impulse. Impulse. Come on, Moto. Okay, we got the impulse. All right, I didn't even really see what else is in there. Um, there's Ashiok. Ashiok's really good. Entomb's really good. Frantic Search is really good. I think we have to take Entomb, but, like, this Ashiok is... Ashiok's really good. I know, it, like, the, the, the MTGO... I know, the M Moto tweaked out, and I just didn't see it. I didn't see it because Moto tweaked out. I would have obviously taken the the like the whatever it is over the impulse over the impulse, but the intube the intube tweaked out or the Magic Online tweaked out. I am gonna restart Magic Online to finish this. So now do we take Living Death or Inquisition? Probably Living Death. I kind of want. I want to take Living Death. We don't have a lot of like big fatties, so maybe we need to take like. Maybe we have like enough ramp, and we just need the fatties. Like, I kind of want to take the Inquisition. It just kind of interacts earlier, and I think we have the necessary. Like, I think we have the pieces to like of finding our combo. I think I just want to get. A little bit of early interaction. I want another fatty. Deluge is a board wipe, but Dragonlord Dramoka is also like it's a good life linker that we can have in our deck, which is kind of nice. Lava Claw reaches helps with our splash. But I think I want to take Dramoka. I think I want to have more than four four big things. Yeah. And Dramoka means like, like they can't counter my stuff. Deluge is great, yes. But we'll just take the Badlands in case we want to do that. In case we want to be bad. We can take Dark Confidant in our... In our... Uh, whatever it is. Um... I think I kind of want to just take out, take Desecration Demon, because it's like fine to reanimate, and you can just play it on four, and it's huge. Like, there's not really anything else in this pack either that's any good. Right? I think we're going to just take this. We might not play it, but we could. So what does this do? There's nothing here for us. Why, why is Leyline of Sanctity in the chat? Or not in the chat. Oh, there's the, there's the Terracidon. That is what we needed. The old nasty Terracity, baby. I guess we can just take Acidic Slime. A little kiki jiki plan, though. We're going to take Acidic Slime because it's like a naturalize on a stick that we can reanimate for. Put it in our sideboard. Search your library for a card, put it on top of your life, and shuffle your library. So this isn't great, but it is a tutor. So I guess we'll take it just in case. Oh, we got the Living Death. Is the Pernicious Deed better, though? We could just take Deed. Yeah, I'm going to take Deed. Deed's just interaction. I just don't want to, like, die. So yeah, I'm definitely I'm going to restart Moto after this uh, draft finishes up, and then we'll, we'll build the deck here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Naturalize effect. Well, I don't think the Bayou was right at that time, right? I mean, and we do have a Blooming Marsh, and we have a Lotus. Like, like you know, we can cast it. And we can always side in a land or two, you know? It's it's very much stretching. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to restart Moto here, though. All right, so draft's done. Let's have this load up. All right, let me 
just save this. And let's. As soon as I started trading, it just like murked the speed. Again, this is where we'd have the sweet sponsor page if we had it going on. Here we go, Moto. Here we go. All right. I still have to like clean my house tonight, which is going to suck. Oh, wow, that's already flying. The little, the little computer program that could. That's Magic Online. Open League. Come on, we can do it. We can do it, Moto. Probably tweaking out because we've been just we streaming for like four hours almost. So my computer could just be like, I'm tired. Probably exit out of a couple stuff. All right, let me edit my deck. Here we go. We can edit. So let's. We gotta group everything separately. So here we've got kind of like our fatties. We have 27 cards. We have two lands and a lotus. So let's just move these up here. Let's bring all of these little group sort by converted mana cost. Destroy. So I don't know if we need necessarily both of these in our deck. So how many ways do we have to reanimate things? We've got reanimate one, two, three, four, five. Okay, how many instants or sorceries do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could get spell mastery on this. I mean, it seems a little, you know, not necessarily going to happen. But So that's 23 right now. We've got like a couple cards to value back with our with our um, recurring nightmares, and then we've got like the hammers. And I wonder if we can get away with like not playing a land and then play the Sun Titan. You know, because like we have a Lotus. I'm not necessarily, I don't, I'm not super. I don't super like doing that, but I wonder if it's all right to do. And then we can play the Sun Titan. Now, are any of these cards better, like better or worse than Sun Titan? Like, is having six fatties good enough, or do we want less? And the only other things I think that are bring in, we have a Grim Tutor. 
We have the Dark Petition. We have the Demon. We could play red for the Nickel Bowl loss. We could play a lot of reds for Kiki Jiki and just mess people up. That seems weak. I kind of want to cut down on one... Th well, let's just add basics here. I don't mind having 17 lands. And I don't want to play any white sources. I'm just totally cool not casting Elish Norn ever. Or Terracidon. So this is 13 plus 3... So that right there, that's 26. I need 14 sources. We'll just cut it down the middle. I have never won a game off of Lotus and Arachnos Return. You you are right. But is that worth going three colors for, Farby? Like, like, how do we do it? Let's just see if, if we wanted to play... Lotus, um, if we wanted to play the Rakdos Return, so we have this, we have our bad land. What would we cut? So let me go group creatures separately. The lands are messing us up. So I basically need to cut from this list two, two cards. Farber, we, we've moved. We've moved past this. All right, let's be happy. If we have the Rakdos return, we could cut like one of these Bone Shredders or a Shriek Maw, and we could cut a land. You can tilt about it all you want, my friend. I like being able to side Rakdos return in again in like the control matchups. Whatever, we'll play it. Let's figure it out. Let's cut a swamp. And let's cut one fatty. You like it on side, what do you mean? I have to cut one card. I don't think we need two. Do we need Bone Shredder plus Shriek Maw? Or do we want to have both of those, just in case? Or do we just want to not start? Hey, Aaron, how's it going? Yeah. So I got I got to cut one card. I think we're gonna cut one of these. Which one's worse, the Shriek Maw or the Bone Shredder? I'm gonna go with the Bone Shredder. So let's save. Let's get in there. Let's beat some nerds up. The good thing is, is that what, like we're a little lucky because we have the Lotus. We have Badlands and we have a Rakdos Signet. So like, it's not free, but it's kind of free. And it's like, it's something that we can also flashback with Jace. Yeah, I saw that, Farby. What's going on? You, you, uh, I thought you were a, you were an old magic, old magic player from, from way back when. I'm going to go grab a, oh, my beer's still going here. Hey, Merry Christmas, Aaron. Come on, Moto, you can do it. All right. I'm getting more moxin, okay. Are we at Mono Reddit? Is somebody like gonna just ruin? Do we have like a fun police in here? Wow, what a joke. So probably just go land pass. 
We could return them for one. We could return them for two. I'm just gonna play Badlands and pass. This thing's gonna kick my teeth in. Is Blood Moon? No, you just figure Destiny. This thing's gonna be a problem, but we are gonna be able to chump it with Pack Rat forever. We can't just go way over the top of this. Doesn't matter, right? Add red. Okay, we got a lightning strike and a mountain and a thunder bomb. Fire the Crusader. All right, so now we got to play Rat, and we're gonna have to play Rat, and then just kind of like survive for a little while. So we're gonna take six, maybe more, and then we'll make a Rat, and we'll chump block the figure of Destiny. We'll just start discarding these Terracidons and Neil Battle Spheres. That port's annoying. If my opponent ports me, I'll just do this in the upkeep. And take this, because we can just block this next turn. Oh, we can't. Oh, that's a dead draw. Unless we gain some life. We are getting beaten up here. What is this, like a Chandra? Fiery Confluence gets me. So we're gonna need to like lower our curve and get a little more, a little less susceptible. We got beat by the fun police, but we got moxed. Like our opponent cracked us for four on turn two. Excuse me. So we're gonna want this, this, this. Um, the demon's probably all right because it's just big. Our, goal, our game plan is going to be find Dragon Lord Jamoka. Um, reanimate's not good. Farby, I'm going to assume that the Rakdos return is not good unless we have, unless we have whatever it is, the Black Lotus in the early game. I just don't think we're, we're going to have to be faster than that. The Elish Nord's probably fine. Recurring Nightmare is probably a little slow. Yeah. I probably can cut like one fatty. Probably this one. The Shield Drake's probably the worst one. The Dread Boar is fine. God, imagine how sweet it would be to be like land. Imagine if we had the Gristle Brand. Okay, so we have Lotus. I don't think we're going to do anything with it. 
We're just going to keep it. We're going to Inquisition our opponent on turn one. We'll play Pack Rat on two. Okay, so Mox, Glorybringer, Shrine. I kind of want to get rid of this Shrine because the Shrine's just going to be the Shrine's annoying. I know, like taking the Mox sounds like all right there, but they like if it's just going to be in a turn four Glorybringer, then whatever. All right, we're going to start making rats. Maybe that would have been good, but now I can make two tokens. Now I'll just ditch my island and my battles. Oh, I should attack. No, I clicked through. Okay, well, that's bad. I was so talking about, I was like, oh, now we can make like two tokens that I just like went right through, but whatever. I mean... That one life, man. This is Glorybringer. No, this is Hellrider. That's okay. I think we can race this. I can just trade with this. I literally can just... Discard this. And then I'll hold the Bone Shredder. Alternatively, I can just attack my opponent for 42 next turn. Bone Shredder kills uh, Glorybringer also. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to crack. We're going to crack him back. Begin combat. It's like we're playing standard. We got mono red in there. I knew pack rat. Pack rat's just sweet because it lets you win like I don't know one of those like a like a backdoor game, you know. So everyone in the chat, thank you very much for showing up. I appreciate all that. Oh, we have a subscriber? Let me look through here. Did I miss it? Oh, Aaron, thank you very much. I appreciate the subscription. I appreciate that very much. And thank you. Um, we gotta change anything. Do we want pernicious deed? Is that too is that too stupid? It seems too stupid. I think we're just gonna like run it back here. So thank you everybody for showing up. If you guys want to see archives of the stream, please check out my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for the uh, subscription, Aaron. I didn't hear it. If you did, let me know here. Let's we'll just replay this for for the happiness. Because I didn't hear it, so I just want to make sure that it went through here. There he is. All right. This hand's okay. Doesn't really do a lot, but it does play a 3 1 flyer, so I think I'm going to keep this. And chart the course. We can just chart a course on two. Yeah, I appreciate it, my friend. No one drop is sweet. I just want to play island in case our opponent's got wasteland.
Pass. Okay, there's a Mox. My opponent's got two Moxes. Their deck's sweet. Okay. Player. Player gains no life. Well, this Iona's Prowler could be pretty sweet here. I think I'm going to play the Prowler. Just kind of get in there. Put a little pressure on our opponent. Now we just need to find a fatty. But we have the Umbero right. So now I wonder what we buried alive for. We probably buried alive for like Battle Ball. Strip mine, okay. They just mortars this. Do I want to discard anything? I don't think I... I could discard... No, I don't want to discard on Baylor Rights. We should put a white source in our deck. That's not That's not, That's not. not tight magic there. I don't want to discard anything. We should have had the... Uh, the Acidic Slime in our deck. Okay, they hit my black source. They only have one card, so... We're under pressure, but... I could just chart a course. Oh, let's hit a fatty. All right, so there's Battle Ball. And then we want to get up to the lands, so we'll go like that. We can just be alive when Battle Ball gets there, and we're good, but we're taking three a turn. Okay, that's all right. Doesn't really do a lot. In our two color deck. Do we still have Elder Storm in our deck? Yeah, okay. Alright, Lotus off the top would be sweet. Okay, we actually can get Terracidon. I think I want to get Terracidon, Dragonlord Dramoka, and Elishnorn. Yeah, I agree. So let's get... And then, like, we'll, re we'll probably just reanimate the Terracidon, kill this, and then kill two of our lands. So that we have enough blockers. We should have to hope our opponent like misses here. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Fire Blast is really bad. Does Fire Blast just kill me. Four, five, six, seven. So we go to three. So now I need I need a reanimation target like ASAP. Oh no. Oh man, we lost like the one deck that just punishes us. God, curse you, Mono Red. Who gets into the holiday cube and like says, man, I wanna I wanna I wanna do I wanna do mono red, you know? Who 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 decides that? Do we wanna edit our deck and put a white source in? Or is just one half good? People want to make mad play points. Okay. I get that. <clears throat> so my favorite things... My favorite things to draft are... Like storm decks, ramp decks, or like the blue white control decks. But I don't think the blue white control decks very good in Power Cube.
Um, yeah, we'll keep this. This is a little reanimation because we'll just ditch our Prowler. Or ditch this uh, mirror battlefield of the Prowler. Oh, man. This opponent's got to take a recurring nightmare, right? Yeah. Opponent saw the line. We get all these. I like drafting blue, for sure. Which way the gristle brand? What is this? Is this another discard spell? What are the odds this Jace lives? Enough. The opportunity cost is sweet. All right. We got a J-Dog. We got J-Dog Millionaire in play. We don't have a J-Dog Millionaire in play. Play the Prowler. At least we have the Impulse to get us a little more gas. Dak Faden, okay. You get a Dak. We'll ditch this Battle Sphere. We can ditch it whenever, so. I think I'm just gonna impulse right now because we have plenty of hits here that will reward us. It kind of sucks that our opponent gets to steal, right? They get to gain control of target artifact. Oh yeah, Dak's insane in this cube. So I can just take Entomb, attack Dak, and then Entomb back the Battle Sphere. Which I think is what we're going to do. Put these in any order. The only sweeper that they have really is like Damnation. My opponent would need to land Damnation to do that. So let's go. Let's play this so we don't get dazed. Oh, and Tube's the wrong one. Oh, no. No, we didn't know that. I thought it was reanimate. We just zoned out there for a second. Um, all right, so now that we've made this mistake, let's get... Yeah, I need to put a white source in my deck because we get a tomb for burial rights, then flash it back. That's just, yeah, that's bad. I'll take Terracidon. And then we'll pass. Then we can kill this deck for our opponent doesn't do anything. The opponent's just like a four-color control deck. All right, I'm going to concede so they don't see, but I'm not. Uh, actually, search your library for target. I guess we'll let him do it because we have this. Uh, we have this Shriek Ma. They ditched a Splinter Twin and a him. So my opponent's just like a four color good stuff deck. <laughs> okay so we need to find a way to reanimate this Terracidon right quick yeah it's just on a four color grind it out deck No, we have to return the top creature. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, so now we can kind of like mold our deck into a little bit more of a deck that can grind. Draw a card. That was me just making a mistake on the Entomb. 
which happens. So we want this. We probably want the nickel bowl loss. We probably don't need like... I'm gonna guess that like our, our destroy target creature cards aren't very good. Even though we saw the twin combo, like they don't, they interact on instant speed. We're gonna put a land in this deck. Um, add basic lands. We're gonna add a white land. Cut an island. Um, we want buried alive. That was the wrong card. Why did we take that out? We want to get rid of bone shredder. Um, entomb reanimates good. Signet's good. Returns good. Nickel Bolas is good. Maybe Dragonlord Jamoka is not very good. We'll probably get rid of that. Yeah, I'll just submit this. I think this is good. Would like to play first. So I think I've actually got a mulligan in this hand. Yeah, we can keep this one. We need a red source. We got two for this. Three if you count Black Lotus, which I don't really want to count. But we can go Inquisition into Looter. And like Looter's Looter's probably pretty good in a matchup like this. Yeah, we'll put a land on top. And Looter's basically like drawing cards when you're a reanimator deck. Alright, Ancestral Visions. Visions is slow, but it's going to get me. The rest of his hand's pretty slow. I'm just going to take Visions. And we're going to try to like grind out a little bit of value with this Looter. Well, it probably probes me uh, when they have the thing in the ice in play. So there's the steam vents. I thought it was deck suite. Let's get this into play. I am going to have to find a way to kill this thing in the ice, though. Or it's going to get me. We get probed. Thing in the ice is gone. Alright, might as well attack first. So I'll just ditch the Tarasid on, keep making my land drops, and then I'll just play Buried Alive. We'll get in there. Probably the best cards to get are Shieldred, Battle Ball, and Duplicant. All right. I think we actually want to draw two cards with this chart, of course, because we've already... Um, Got our graveyard filled up. We just need like a card quantity. Ditch this island. Charter course. I should have played the plains, not the swamp. Kept the swamp to discard with. That would have been definitely better. Buyback. So now we just cast this with buyback.
Then we get our shield red. All right, opponent terminates. Sorry, we get in there for three in the air. We know two out of the four cards our opponent has, and they can't cast their Tiki G here. They're not even close. Then we just keep bringing back this thing. We'll just keep discarding the lands. We don't need those. That's funny because they killed it. That it doesn't. It uh, keeps coming back. All right, so they can get, they'll probably get Elish Norn here, I assume, but. Any order. So I wanna draw like. So we still just cast this with buyback. They can't block it, which is nice, but. Our opponent flips that thing. What? Corpse Dancers? Oh, we're just dead. Oh, that's frustrating. All right. I don't like this deck. I think we're going to drop. We're going to do one more, and then we're going to call it a night. Because Moto's tweaking out, and Moto can't handle it. We're going to go one more here. We have one more vintage cube shellacking. It's probably the last magic that I'll play for a little while. My stream's gonna be taking a tad break for the holidays. That's what I'm thinking here. We're gonna draft. We're gonna draft a sweet blue deck. We're gonna open up like ancestral recall. And we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, I've had enough of this deck. So let me turn off my recording.